Good afternoon, Wolfpack. I'm William Moa. And I'm Dion Gandhi. Today is Wednesday, December 14th, and we're here with your daily announcements. Today is the last day to donate to the food drive hosted by ASB Men's Soccer and the Elk Grove Food Bank in order to support our local community. They are accepting dryer canned foods, small cans, and ramen noodle packs. For any donations you make, you'll be awarded with IMCO tickets. Please bring all donations to the leadership room next to the cafeteria. If you're interested in being a part of next year's leadership program, you can sign up by completing the Google form in the Wolfpack newsletter. The due date is this Friday, December 16th. CO Community Club Donations Drive ends this Friday, December, December 16th. If you have any new toys or teddy bears, please bring, them, please bring them off to the culinary building. Donations will be given to the Consumers Oaks Fire Department. For more information, please contact their Instagram at Community Club COHS. Now let's pass it on over to Ethan and Nisha for entertainment. Hey there, Wolfpack. It's your boy, Ethan Newland, back at it again with your weekly entertainment segment. Oh, we're just going to forget about me. Yes. I'm Nisha Samara, if you didn't care to notice. Anyways, Nisha, have you heard about the new Avatar movie, The Way of the Water? Uh, no, enlighten me. Well, it's a movie about, well, we're going to go back to Pandora, of course, and Jake is fighting a new enemy threat, and then where he's, yeah, fighting the enemy threat, he has to protect his family, but so far the CGI it's terrible, but other than that, everything looks great. Like, visually, it's stunning. Like, it looks like it's just gonna pop out of the screen from the trailer. As it should, because what else are you gonna do with $22 billion? 22 mil million? Billion. 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 Oh, I'm gonna have to watch it sometime. Yeah, you definitely should. It is coming out this Friday, so you should check it out after finals, and you can watch the Mega Smurfs. Oh, nice. You wanna know a show that I'll definitely be watching? Oh, what? Gudetama, an excellent adventure. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, it's a new show about our favorite egg overcoming hurdles on the journey with his brother Shaki Pio to find their mother. <laughs> it's out now on Netflix and I'm excited to watch it. I love Sanrio characters a lot and Gudetama is absolutely one of my favorites. Well, that's something that I'll definitely remember. Well, finally, the results of the Game Awards are in. If you don't know what the Game Awards are, it's like the Oscars, but for basement dollars. Here are the results. For the best indie game, it's Stray. Best fighting game, Multiverses. Best esports game, came out to be Valorant. Well, wow, that's such a surprise. For best anticipated game is Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. Best narrative is God of War, Ragnarok. And finally, the game of the year is Elder Ring. That's quite a mouthful. Well, our shenanigans are up. I'm Nisha Samra. And I'm Ethan Nguyen. Have, have a, a great, great break. Wolf have a great pack. great wolf pack. Kaiser Permanente application window for the paid summer internship program is open until December 23rd. The internship provides an opportunity to gain hands-on experience in various non-medical careers, including finance, communication, hospital operations, and more. For more information, please check, please check your synergy email or, the, or scan the QR code. Now let's check out our wo women's basketball team. Seniors, <clears throat> seniors, remember hmm? seniors, remember this Friday, December 16th, is the last day to return in your senior quotes. For more information, check the senior Google Classroom. Well, it's that time of the week. Now let's see what Darren and Jonah have for us for sports. What's up, Wolfpack? I'm Darren Francis. And I'm Jonah Mercado. And we're here with your sports update. Let's go. Keeping up with our girls' basketball, let's check out with their win against Nevada. For real this time. Kaylin Subiano, uh, passing to... She's trying to, she's trying to find an opening to pass to number 23, Isabel Tan. Okay. Gets a three-pointer. And uh, here we have number 22, Kylie Tisdale. Tries to get an opening, pass passes to Isabel Tan. For another attempted three-pointer. This time, makes the shot. Oh, wow. Impressive. Now, number four passes to number two, Nicole Tran. Takes the shot for a three pointer. Doesn't get it. And number 15 from um, Nevada rebounds. Um, CO is trying to, to take it back from him. Number five passes to, to Nevada. Tries to take the shot. Number 44, Nia Barron. Gets the rebound. Passes to Isabel Tam, driving back down to the paint for another 
Passes Pass to number four. Number 44, Nia Baron takes the shot, makes it. Impressive. Here we have number two again. Passing to number four. Going up four, layup, and it's good. Impressive. Uh, here we have, uh, let's see, is that number four? Passing to number 22, Ky Kylie Tisdale again. Great coordination, guys. And last week, last week we have um, number four trying to get an opening for a layup, doesn't make it, has it to number two, and then makes the shot. Three, Great stuff, ladies. Now moving on to boys soccer, let's check out their golf game. First off, 14, Ryan Saller running up and taking the shot into the goal. Gets blocked by the goalie, and he kicks it back into the middle of the field. And here we have number 23, Anu Warren passing it to number two, Patrick Molinari. He does a spin move, runs a line to 11, number 11, 11, Evan Perez, who passes it to 13, Arjun Parmar. He takes a shot, but gets it blocked. Not to worry, though, because we have number 10, Gilbert Bravo, passing it to Patrick Molinari again, passing it back to number six, Julian Gonzalez. Back again to Patrick, aiming to number 14, Ryan Sala as he runs up to take the shot, but just barely Ooh. misses. Yeah. Here we have number 10, Gilbert Bravo, their center back, kicking into the middle of the field for a long ball. Number 11, Evan Perez, t takes a chest trap, tries to pass it to, let's see here, number 14, Ryan Sala, runs up to the goal, tries to take it, and passes it to eight, Anthony Brajas, but doesn't make the shot. Here we have our second half goalie, 88, Connor Ripple, passing it to number 10, Bravo, and then back to Patrick Molinari once again, running the line and crossing it to 23, a new Venice Swan, trying to find an opportunity as he takes a shot, but hitting the crossbar. Damn, that's so close. Here we have another angle of that. Here again, pass, um, passing to 23. I really like the coordination our boys are showing in this year. Yeah. Thank you, Patrick, for helping me pick out these clips during our third period. Our boys' team pr progress the rest of the year hasn't been bad at all so far. Yeah, with a win over Candy 2-1 and over Florin 2-0, they sure stomped them. Way to go, guys. Our girls' team has also been doing pretty great with a 4-2 win record, winning over El Dorado 3-0. Good luck at Davis, girls. Jonah, we've been lacking on the World Cup news. Oh, yeah. So some lightning-fast updates for you. In the quarterfinals, the Netherlands and England were knocked out, and surprisingly, Portugal and Brazil were too. Yeah, a lot of people, those two, including me, would make it to the final game. Argentina beat Croatia in the semi-final yesterday, 3-0, and now it's the, the last semi-final, France versus Morocco. Jonah, did you know Morocco is the first African country to make it to the semi-finals? Yeah, I did. We watched their game in anticipation for who would face Argentina in the final. Yeah. In NBA news, the Kings have had a pretty good media... Pretty mediocre year thus far, with a 14-12 record last night, facing a 103-123 loss to the 76ers. The Lakers have had a worse start with an 11-16 record. Mm. Not a good sign. And the Warriors have been exactly even with 50% win rate, 14-14. Finally, rounding us off in the NFL, we got a few updates on the 49ers and the Raiders that Darren will be happy about. Let me tell you. We won three games in a row against the Denver Broncos, mm -hmm. Seattle Seahawks, and L.A. Chargers, and then we lost against the Rams, but it was nice to see Carr and Adams have some momentum for a change. Oh yeah, the 49ers had a five-game win streak, including a bye week, which is crazy. Maybe people were wrong about old Jimmy, because he's consistently won by two touchdowns for the last four. Well, that remains to be seen. As always, I'm Darren. And I'm Jonah. Back to the Anchors. Thanks, guys. And um, uh, who do you want to win for the World Cup? Honestly, I don't really care who wins since America and Japan got out, so I really couldn't care less who wins. All right. Well, um, I'm William Moore. And I'm Dale Ganey. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Good, Good luck, luck on, on finals, finals wolf, wolf pack. pack.